I'm taking up tides now. We're discussing tides. Now tides, it has been ages since some question has been asked. So I'm saying tides is one topic. This may keep questions. Bohat saal ho gaya nahi hai. And uh, I was avoiding this topics, but now last eight go saal se have started a bit of discussion. Why? Because it's possible that they can ask you something on this. So tides may, you have to know, okay, number one, what are the types of tides? You have to know the theories. Now, this is a technical part, knowing the theories of tides and something about okay their application okay and their usefulness and the human aspects the application usefulness and human aspects these can be part of your conclusions in some of the answers that you write down so types of types name your books gives you a long list but more or less these are the types of types we have got spring tide and leap tide ye category hai we have got okay tropical tides equatorial tides we have got diurnal tides and we have uh, semi diurnal tides and then we also have uh, zenith tides and we have nadir tides this may very fast if i'm discussing spring tides and neap tides may i hope you all know this is related to the position of the sun and the moon. So uh, we have got two possible positions. We have what's called as moon in quadrature position and we have moon in conjunction position. Moon in quadrature position and moon in conjunction position. Third is, what I mean by this is, if this sun or this earth hai, the moon can be here, moon can be here, moon can be here, and moon can be here. Position 1 and 2, these are called as conjunction positions. When sun, moon, and earth are in straight line. When the moon is position 3 and position 4, this is called as quadrature positions. So spring tide and neap, neap tide are related to moons in the quadrature positions and moon in the conjunction positions. Very important point here is that spring tide and neap tide both are high tides. This is a very important point. Hai. Most of them miss this out. The spring tide hai, this is the highest high tides and the neap tides are the lowest high tides. I presume some of this you know where M is Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. M, M is Earth, correct. M is Earth, correct. And these are the fourth position of the moon. So, spring tide or neap tide, do not care. Both are high tides. Spring tide is the highest high tide. It happens when the moon and the sun and the earth are in conjunction positions. One and two mein hota hai. Neap tides are the lowest high tides. It happens when the moon is in quadrature position in position 3 and 4. Okay. Now, the, the knee tides and high tides, they are best explained by Newton's equilibrium theory. So what this theory says is that all celestial bodies, all celestial bodies, celestial ka matlab hota hai, all those in the outer space, earth, moon, stars, all celestial bodies are in a state of state of equilibrium by their respective gravitational pull balanced by the centrifugal forces while they revolve. Okay? All celestial bodies are in a state of equilibrium by the respective okay, by the respective gravitational pull balanced by by the respective gravitational pull balanced by centrifugal forces while they revolve. This example lenge, say talk about earth and moon. So I hope you all know this. Okay, which one revolves around what? Anybody? Very elementary here. Okay? Earth and moon may which revolves around what? Moon around the earth. Okay. Yes, it is a tough question. If it's tough, I don't have to ask you. Okay, the fact is, now listen, now you're big. Moon does not revolve around the earth. 
This is the catch. Moon does not revolve around the Earth. Earth and Moon they revolve around around their center of mass. Okay, this is the additional statement you must add in your answer. Earth and Moon. Ha, school tak thik tha. Jab nahi pata hai, tab thik hai. Moon around Earth. Okay, but the fact is. Earth and Moon both revolve around the center of their mass. What I mean by this is, if this is Earth and this is Moon, hai, okay, this is say mass M, this is mass M. Both the masses are same. In the center of mass, where will Where will the center of mass be? Somewhere here. So can you imagine? Can you imagine a type of a dumbbell? Two types of dumbbell laga hua hai, Okay. And the two dumbbells are revolving around the center here. Okay, so this is that line. Okay, and we have moon here, and we have got sun here. Then the thing is revolving something like this. Okay, if the two masses are the same, okay. But what happens is, what happens is when the mass of one body increases. Say this mass is more than this mass. So do you realize the center of mass will now shift somewhere here now? I'm quickly explaining what do I mean by center of mass. Okay. Okay. So when one of the masses is more than the other mass, the center of mass, the beach no hona chahiye, the shift ho gaya. And when this is very very large and this is very small, the center of mass of the both will be inside this body. So it's somewhere here now. So when you have got two masses, okay, rotating about the center of mass, and if one of the masses is disproportionately large, the center of mass is now inside the bigger one. अब जो है आपको लगेगा that body B is revolving around body A. तो अभी तो ये वाला है. This is moving like this. This moves like this. This may this also moves like this. This moves like this. But when the center of mass is inside one of the bodies, this will look relatively stationary, and body B will start to seem like it is revolving around the mass A. Okay. अच्छा ये बताओ. If this is the center of mass here, do realize. Okay. There will be a centrifugal force here. There will be a centrifugal force here. This is the centrifugal force here. This is the centrifugal force here, and because they are facing one another, because of the body B, there will be a gravitational force because of B here, and there will be a gravitational force because of A here. Can you imagine what are the forces a body is experiencing? Look at the first example. We have got one force C F, which is centrifugal force, because the thing is rotating. And we have a gravitational force because the body B is because the body B is pulling body A. वैसे so, ये body के लिए there is a centrifugal force and there is a gravitational force because A is pulling B. So वैसे ही on this body also on this body also there will be a centrifugal force. There will be a gravity force. So if I have the point is. Is that if I have okay water on the surface of the earth? अगर मेरे पास ये water है on the surface of the earth, this water will get thrown like this, and this water will get pulled like this. This is getting pulled because of the gravitational pull of moon, and this is getting thrown because of centrifugal force. अगर ये earth है, these are the two okay forces displacing the water. From the surface. Okay, I think yeah, that all of you are clear here. This was the example I started with. Think of two bodies. We have got the Earth. We have got the Moon. हम अब Earth की ही बात कर रहे हैं. Okay, and Earth is very large. So there is the center of mass is inside the Earth. And then I'm saying that on the Earth there will be two bulges. One is towards Moon, and the other is okay, the centrifugal one. इसको कैसे लिखा जाएगा हाउ डू वी राइट दिस हाउ डू वी राइट दिस वी राइट दिस एज दैट स्प्रिंग टाइप्स आर बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्रेविटेशनल पुल ऑफ 
the sun and moon and because of the centrifugal force due to earth moon rotation about the center of mass lying in the same line what happens is agar ye sun hai ye earth hai and this is the moon the gravitational pull because of moon the gravitational pull because of sun the centrifugal uh, through because of the rotation they are all in the same line because of which i have a big bulge here and we have a big bulge here nico what 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 challenge what challenge we have in these topics i am sure most of you know this concepts okay aapko pata hai ye cheez ji se padha hai otherwise also uske baad aap next sentence dekho ye wala sentence the spring tides are because the gravitational pull of sun and moon okay and the forces because of centrifugal are in the same line because the gravitational pull and the centrifugal force lie in the same line whereas neat tide kab hota hai when the centrifugal throw and the gravitational pull are at right angles kitne mein chhod dena aap log ye otherwise you cannot handle this question in the 10 or uh, its rotation about it looks like revolution but it's actually rotation it looks like revolution where the moon is revolving around the earth okay but it is actually rotation of earth and moon about the center of the mass theek okay? hai so if you are careful you can use the right word okay agar agar this is this this is that axis we have moon here and we have got earth here when they rotate about the center of mass we use the word rotation but because the mass center of the mass is inside earth so it looks like okay moon is revolving around the earth so neat tide mein kya hota hai in the neat tide what we have is this this is the sun this is the earth sun ka pull idhar hota hai aur moon ka pull idhar hota hai so the forces are not aligned they are at right angles jab aligned hoga the pull gets accentuated this is the gravitational pull of sun this is the gravitational pull of moon this is the centrifugal because of sun and earth this is centrifugal because of okay earth and moon and these are at right angles theek hai isme kya hai sun moon earth ek hi line mein isme they are at right angles so half moon positions mein we will have neat tides ठीक है सो राइट दिस डाउन एंड प्रोबेबली गो बैक एंड रीड द बुक्स अगेन टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस बेटर सो दिस इज अबाउट द स्प्रिंग टाइड एंड नी टाइड मैं क्विकली व्हाट आर इक्वेटोरियल टाइड्स एंड व्हाट आर ट्रॉपिकल टाइड्स इसमें क्या है दिस इज द अर्थ दिस इज द इक्वेटर ऑफ द अर्थ एंड से दिस इज द मून वेन नाउ आई एज्यूम द मून इज रिवॉल्विंग ओके वेन द मून इज रिवॉल्विंग अबाउट द अर्थ द फैक्ट इज that the orbit of the moon is not parallel with the earth's equator the orbit of the moon or we say the orbital plane of moon is not parallel and not in the earth's equatorial plane so ye agar ye line hai moon is probably moon is probably revolving like this they are not exactly parallel and they are not exactly in the same plane so moon jo hai is like earth is here if this is the earth moon is not revolving like this moon is revolving maybe like this okay so the plane is not aligned theek hai so the orbital plane of the moon and the earth's equatorial plane are not aligned moon while revolving seems to move between the tropics okay so if this is if this is earth this is equator ye tropics hai angle aisa hai the sometimes the moon seems to be here sometimes the moon seems to be along equator and sometimes the moon seems to be along the other tropic 
ये ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर वाला पोजीशन है ये इक्वेटर वाला पोजीशन है ये ट्रॉपिक ऑफ केफ्रीकॉन वाला पोजीशन है द द प्लेन ऑफ द मून रेवोल्यूशन इज लाइक दिस सो व्हेन द मून इज एट द ट्रॉपिक्स इट्स कॉल्ड एज ट्रॉपिकल टाइड्स व्हेन द मून इज एट द इक्वेटर इट्स कॉल्ड एज द इक्वेटोरियल टाइड्स दैट्स ऑल इन दिस moon at tropics whether it's tropic of cancer or it is tropic of capricorn the tide high tides are called as tropical tides when the moon is when the moon is at the equator it's called as equatorial tides very simple concepts i should not be spending too much time on this so i hope you have understood equatorial tides and the tropical tides taste 313 and 314 is what we have to look up and read once theek hai so ye do tricky tha baki i think you can manage what is diurnal tide and what is semi diurnal tide diurnal tide once in 24 hours mein jo hota hai and semi diurnal tide which is approximately 12 hours mein ek baar so diurnal and semi diurnal no problem you know about earth rotation about sorry moons rotation about the earth approximately 24 hours hai so when you have you, you talk about one high tide a day you talk about 24 hours there's diurnal one otherwise you talk in terms of semi diurnal the 12 hours ke frequency mein hota hai so nothing much to add here but yes one additional term could be zenith tide and nadir tide zenith tide is the tide just below the moon Another tide is on the other opposite side. So, if this Earth is and this Moon is and Moon is pulling on this side, the gravitational pull of Moon, and this is getting pulled on this side because of centrifugal force on the opposite side. Okay. So, the one which is just below the Moon, this is called as zenith tide. and the one on the other opposite side this is called as the nadir tide and if i go by the equilibrium theory zenith tide is equal to your nadir tide so zenith tide is just below the moon ye aapka moon hai ye earth hai and it's because of gravitational pull of moon the nadir tide on under side is because of the centrifugal throw is because of the centrifugal throw so the opposite side mein hota hai and if i go by equilibrium theory zenith tide is equal to the nadir tide so that's about the four type of tide your book also mentions apogee tides and perigee tides i hope you know what apogee is and what perigee is yes yes both are high tides correct apogee jo hota hai when the moon is far west from earth perigee is when moon is nearest to earth so this is earth the the path is not exactly symmetrical this is the moon position ye bhi moon position जब सबसे पास होता है दिस इज द पेरीगी पोजिशन जब सबसे दूर होता है दिस इज द एपोगी पोजिशन एपोगी टाइड एंड पेरीगी टाइड बोथ आर हाई टाइड्स पेरीगी टाइड्स आर हायर एंड एपोगी टाइड्स आर रिलेटिवली लोअर हाई टाइड्स ठीक है सो टाइप ऑफ टाइड्स हो गया अ क्विक शॉर्ट नोट इज वॉट यू हैव टू बी रेडी फॉर ठीक है अगर पूछता है ये वो फ्रिंज टॉपिक्स हैं तो वी कांट इग्नोर इंटायरली आई